The identification of patients at risk for and who will ultimately develop acute kidney injury is quite a clinical challenge. Acute kidney injury, unlike other organ injury syndromes, has not been amenable to forms of imaging or physiologic testing. And for example, in the setting of an acute myocardial infarction, we can evaluate the EKG, we can evaluate the heart by ultrasound. In the setting of lung injury, we routinely get a chest X-ray. Uh, the kidney, we just do not have good imaging strategies to identify kidney injury. So we've been completely reliant on the development of novel acute kidney injury biomarkers that are sufficiently robust that they can discern between real acute kidney injury and just functional changes in renal filtration and urinary flow. Unfortunately, our current risk assessment for acute kidney injury is largely a watch and wait strategy. And our identification of acute kidney injury is largely late when we see an abrupt rise in serum creatinine or a reduction in urine output. The reason why it's important to identify acute kidney injury before it's manifest by its clinical criteria as we now have them is that this gives us a window of opportunity to adjust many different aspects of critical care management. We have an opportunity to manage their intravenous fluids, manage diuretics, uh, also manage other hemodynamic parameters in order to avoid the consequences of fluid overload, pulmonary edema, desaturation, and then respiratory failure. We look for tests uh, and evaluate them based on sensitivity and specificity. The 0.3 cut point is designed to be sensitive, that is to screen in many patients at risk for acute kidney injury. So it's a conservative test, but it's very powerful at the bedside in terms of positive and negative predictive value. I believe that each post-operative patient who is going to have a prolonged intubation and mechanical ventilation, any patient requiring supportive IV fluids, uh, uh, hemodynamically active drugs, uh, uh, either inotropic agents or pressors, those patients who have sepsis or are in the process of developing sepsis, all of these patients have a sufficient risk to them. In my view, upon admission to the ICU, they should have a nephrocheck performed. And that would be supported by the clinical studies as well as the guidelines on acute kidney injury. So early identification is fundamental in our advancement of the treatment of patients at risk for acute kidney injury.